All right, what's going on, everybody? Sports Expert here. We're doing our Week 14 NFL Picks video. So the Baltimore Ravens just defeated the Dallas Cowboys 34-17, and now it's time to make our Week 14 picks. You know, please hit the subscribe button if you're new. Turn on post notifications, like the video, comment what you think about my picks, comment your picks down below. So, yeah, as I'm going to be making my picks right now, appreciate you all being here. Okay, Thursday night football in two days. The New England, New England Patriots. Versus the Los Angeles Rams. This will be a very good game, I think. You got the 6-6 six and six Patriots still fighting for a playoff spot versus the 8-4 and four Los Angeles Rams. Man, this should be interesting. I The Patriots have a good defense. The Rams have a good defense. Patriots' offense can be good at times. Rams' offense can be good at times. But I don't know. It should be an interesting game. But I am taking the New England Patriots because I think Bill Belichick is going to do everything in his power to win this game. He's, there's, they still have a chance to make the playoffs. The Patriots aren't going to give up until they, uh, it's time to give until they have to give up. So, and but you know Belichick's going to fight to win. I got the Patriots winning. I'm taking the Patriots 24 to, to 21, 24 21 New England. I think the Patriots frustrate Goff, force a couple turnovers on him, as he's definitely uh, one of the more turnover prone QBs in the NFL. So, and that definitely hurts the uh, Rams. So. Yeah, I am going to be take definitely taking the uh, Rams in this one. So yeah, but you know, they I could see the Rams winning, but I taken the Patriots. Texans Bears. I I do not trust the Bears. I'm taking the Texans. No way I'm trusting the Bears anymore. I can't pick them. Like there's a new rule on this channel. We we do not take the Bears. We do not take the Bears on this channel. We do not pick the Bears. So. Yep, we do not pick the Bears, so. Yeah, the Bears are pretty bad. Football started 5-1, and one, now they're 5, and what is it now? 7. Pretty sure the 5-7, and seven. yeah, that's pretty bad. They're not a good team. Their defense can play a bit, but their offense is uh, completely atrocious. And Deshaun Watson's been red hot. I'm taking the Texans in this one. 31-20. Yeah, the Bears don't have it in me. I don't have the Bears winning. Uh yeah, well, I the Bear, Texas defense hasn't been that great, but the Bears offense, you know, is dreadful. Cowboys Bengals, I'm picking the Cowboys even though they just lost. I don't even know if I think the Bengals are kind of tanking at this point. And for like Panesol, I don't think the um Bengals will be um competing much. I think the Cowboys are going to still try to compete, try to win the rest of their games, see what happens. But, yeah, I am not taking the uh, Bengals in this one just because of that. I don't trust Brandon Allen. I think I trust Andy Dalton more than Brandon Allen, which is very interesting to say, say the least. But And I think I trust that run game a bit more for Dallas. Without Joe Mixon, it's not going to look too good for Cincy. And I'm taking the Cowboys in this one, 26-19. to 26-19 Cowboys. I think it'll be an interesting game for Dallas, but not very interesting for Cincy. Broncos Panthers. I am taking the um Carolina Panthers in this one. I've been hearing Christian McCaffrey's coming back. They did have some positive COVID tests. DJ Moore tested positive, plus two other guys. But I do not know if I can trust the Broncos on the road here. So if it were in Denver, I'd be picking Denver. But if McCaffrey doesn't come back. But I will say it looks like you likely will. I may switch to Denver later on. But I am taking the Panthers in this one right now. 28-21. to 21. I just think Teddy Bridgewater is way better than Drew Locke. Both the both Broncos don't have a horrible defense. But, I mean, it's not great either. I mean, they, play, they played pretty well against Patty Mahomes. Panthers defense is pretty stinky. But I think they're going to do much better in this game. I don't know if I can trust Drew Locke on the road right now. So, yeah. I am taking the uh, Panthers in this one, 28-21. Titans-Jaguars. I'm picking the Titans. Titans are going to be hungry after their big loss last week against Cleveland. Yeah. 35-20. to 20. I don't think the Jaguars have much of a shot here. They're going to start Mike Glennon again, I believe. But I don't think the Titans are going to lose this game. <laughs> After losing to the rounds, like they're not just gonna go to Jacksonville and lose. Come on, Tannehill is gonna stay hot. Jags have a ton of injuries, ton of people down due to COVID and IR. You know, Titans are gonna carve up that team. 
That defense is going to make some key plays. I got the Titans winning 35-20. I think guys like Malcolm Butler and maybe Jeffrey Simmons can make some nice key plays in this game. Those are guys you got to watch out for, and I think they'll step up for the Titans. Chiefs Dolphins. I was thinking about an upset, but I am taking the Kansas City Chiefs in this one. I will be taking the Chiefs in this one. 27 to 20, 23. Man, these both these teams' defenses are actually pretty good. A lot of people are taking a shootout in this one. I think it's going to be uh, in the 20s. I don't think it's going to be extremely high scoring, but, you know, I'm going to take the um, Chiefs in this one for sure as – I think Patrick Mahomes makes some key plays in the fourth quarter. I trust him more in a potential close game than Tua. I don't know if I could trust Tua right now as a rookie. I got uh, the Chiefs winning 27-23. But, you know, I could definitely see the Dolphins winning this game at home. Brian Flores is going to be ready. He's going to be ready to win. He's going to put his team on the big stage. But I got the Chiefs winning this one 27-23. I think they're going to outrun the, that secondary in uh, Miami. So... Vikings, Buccaneers. Okay. I am taking the Buccaneers in this one. I don't think there's no way in heck the Buccaneers are losing this game. I just don't see it. 34-17 Buccaneers. They're well-rested. Vikings don't have much, a great secondary or a pass rush. If you don't have a pass rush against Tom Brady, you're not winning likely. Buccaneers, 34-17. Man, Tom Brady, I think he's going to step it up. They had an extra week to prepare. And, you know... The Vikings just aren't completely healthy right now. They have nice player, great players, and obviously Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen. But I, the Buccaneers have a pretty nice secondary with Carlton Davis and Jamel Dean, even though they haven't been playing the greatest the last couple of weeks. Well, I'm taking the Buccaneers in this one, 34-17. They're at home. They should win this one. Cardinals, Giants. I'm taking the Cardinals. A lot of people are taking the Giants upset, but I don't think they're pulling off another upset. I have them going 5-8. and eight. I have the Cardinals going 7-6. and six. I have the Cardinals winning 20 to 13. I think it'll be a lower scoring game. Kyler will make some nice plays that will help the Cardinals win even against his top tier Giants defense. Cardinals defense isn't great, but I don't, if Daniel Jones does come back, I don't know if he's going to be 100%. I don't know if I still completely trust Colt McCoy. I feel like the if it were a better defense in the Seahawks, they wouldn't have scored a 17, but we'll see. But I got the Cardinals winning this one 20 to 13. You know, I just think D-Hop is going to destroy James Bradbury. I'm sorry if you're a Giants fan and watching this. I think it's going to happen. 2013 Cardinals. Colts Raiders. This is one of my bigger upsets of the week. I got the Raiders winning this one. I got the Raiders. I got the Raiders 30-27. to 27. You know, sorry Colts fans. But this should be an interesting game. I think the Colts have so much potential in this game. But I don't know if I trust Phil Rivers right now. A lot of people may not trust Derek Carr, but Derek Carr, I trust him. I think he, he's just disrespected way too much. I really like Derek Carr. I think I can. He's a trustworthy QB. Uh, there's no way I'm not. I'm taking the uh, Colts right now. But I mean, I could switch this pick. But if there's some types of injuries or anything like that, but I, I doubt it. Come on. I got the Raiders win this one, 30-27. It's going to come down to who can play the better defense. Colts may have the better defense, but, you know, I th don't know about Phil Rivers right now. I think Phil Rivers is going to uh, go, go into a stump. Raiders beat the Saints at home this year, 34-24, uh, and I think they're going to do something similar to the Colts. Jets, Seahawks, we don't need to spend much time on this one. The Seahawks are going to win this game. Jets are tanking. They showed it last week. Yeah. 34-21 Seahawks. Russell Wilson makes some plays. They'll bounce back. They win. Not much to say about this one. This game's not very good either. I got the Falcons winning this one at the Chargers. Both teams aren't going to the playoffs. The Chargers are a completely awful team. They lost 45-0 to New England at home. I don't care if the Chargers are at home. They're not winning this game, in my opinion. 29-22. to Justin Herbert will make some plays. He'll make some miscues, though. Uh, Matt Ryan will outplay him. I think... I just don't see the... Um, Chargers winning this one. Come down who can... I think this is another one of those games come down. Which defense can step up? I'm going with the Falcons. Chargers are just bad at football. Packers-Lions. Another easy one. Packers are going to win this one. 30. I'm going to say 34 to 16. The, pa the Lions are not a good team. I mean, Stafford 
Don't get me wrong. I think Stafford's a really good player. I just think he needs maybe a new change of scenery if the Lions do want to trade him. But I don't know if it's going to happen with their owners. Rock didn't to trade Stafford. I think the Packers win this one 34-16. Lions have an insanely underwhelming defense. So, I don't know who. But, yeah, I'm taking the Packers in this one 34-16. I mean, I people could take the Lions as an upset, but I don't see it happening. 34-16 Green Bay. Saints Eagles, you saw the news Jalen Hurts was starting. Do I think it'll make a difference? Yeah, but I, do I think it'll make a winning difference? Heck no. Saints, 23-14. to 14. I think it'll be a lower scoring game. Taysom Hill will run the football. You know, um, like Jalen Hurts will run the football too. There's going to be some running in this game. I, uh, I think it's going to be – I don't think a ton of passing will happen in this game. But – and I trust the Saints more in a running game. But, you know, the Eagles don't sleep on their running game. Don't sleep on their running game. But I think the Eagles, I can't trust them in a running game. I got the Saints winning 23-14. It'll be a lower scoring game. Washington football team in the 49ers. What a win for Washington versus Pittsburgh, man. Wow. Washington really pulled that off, you know. But I don't do, are they going to win this game? That's debatable. That is very debatable. So I am going to end up taking the 49ers in this one. I think the 49ers bounce back 27 to 24. Watch, they both have really good defense. This could be a defensive game. I think there will be more points scored than people think. I got the 49ers. I think, I think Nick Mullins is a pretty decent QB. I think he doesn't get enough credit for what he's doing. I think he's keeping this team close. And he's keeping this team close enough in games. You know, I think Mullins is all right. I mean, losing to the Eagles was pretty embarrassing, but... I got the 49ers winning this one just because I think the running game will get going. I think, I mean, Washington's great against the run. But Mostert, I could see him uh, uh, breaking out for a few nice runs. And, you know, they're going to do, not do, I think the 49ers will use some marquee trick plays, including Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. And I think it'll be enough. Alex Smith, I don't know if I trust him to lead the lead Washington to a fifth win in a row. Yeah, and this could come down to, like, a last drive for Washington. I don't think Alex Smith will get it done. I got the 49ers winning this one, 27-24. Steelers, Bills. I am taking the Steelers in this one, 30-23. You know, Josh Allen is actually 0-2 in primetime this year versus Tennessee and Kansas City. I don't trust uh, Josh Allen in these big games right now. You realize that? Steelers, I can trust them, obviously, even though they're coming off a big loss against Washington. People are using the notion that the Steelers are overrated. I think the Steelers are a pretty good team. I don't know if they're completely overrated, but I think they're a bit, a teeny bit overrated, but not extremely overrated. But I got them winning 30-23. to I think Pittsburgh will uh, contain Josh Allen. Josh Allen is definitely not the greatest QB in prime time. We'll see if he's another Kirk Cousins, but... I think he's better than him. But I still got the Steelers winning in this one, 30-23. I think uh got I think the Steelers I think the Steelers passing game's gonna uh go off with Claypool, Schuster, and you got James Washington. And yeah. So Ravens Browns. I'm taking the Cleveland Browns in this one. I'm gonna take the Browns thirty four to thirty one. I think it'll be a pretty high scoring game in Cleveland. So yeah. But I'm taking. There's no way I'm um, picking against my team in this one. I mean, the Ravens play, played very well tonight, but uh, the Browns played pretty well against Tennessee. I'll give you that. And the Cowboys aren't a great football team. The Browns crushed the Cowboys too, and I think it'll. This is another game that could come down whose defense can step up. Ravens have a much better defense than the Browns, but I am taking the Browns. I think Mayfield will make some key plays. I think well, I think it's uh, on the forecast. It's there's rain, so I don't know. Can Lamar stay consistent in the rain? I'm not sure, but I think the Browns. It's a division game. I think the Browns are gonna they're gonna use some time to figure out the Ravens' offense. Greg Roman's uh, easy to figure out offense. So I'm taking the Browns in this one, 34-21. I'm not trusting the Ravens to win this game. So those are my picks, everybody. I went ten and five last week. Please subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, like the video, and comment with your picks where I appreciate everyone being here. I'm out, guys. Sports expert here. Peace.